This behind me is a gallium opus with a whole lot of original material. And you can always tell it's a gallium opus, at least I figured it out. They have these little saddle-shaped apexes on their neural spines when they're preserved nicely. And they've got a very distinct blocky rectangular shape with a very narrow ventral sulcus. And they have this bar that kicks in. You can see, you probably can't see, but you'll trust me. There's a huge bar across the side of these up here. No pneumatic fossae absolutely cool see these these big projections here they start the, the sacrum and work their way back the build of the spine is has some apatosaur flavor as do the centra so it's i would put this on the apatosaurine line and you've got the ischium the pubis beautiful femur always have some apato characteristics feels to them but they aren't apatosaurus proper one of the things I like to point out is on the cervicals, look how tall north-south the cervical spines are. Now that could be a little crushing, but apatosaur cervicals are very wide, famously wide. But these are very tall. They're different than pretty much any sauropod that I can think of in North America. And maybe Suawasia, which has these similarities. So, and no, I don't think it's a dicreosaur, but dicreosaurs do have that, so maybe that's why. But this is a really great specimen. There's a lot of original material on it, and I'm super proud to be standing in front of it.